Today, we will learn about Newton's first law of motion, or law of inertia. There was this fellow in England named Sir Isaac Newton, born in Woolsthorpe, England, on January 4, 1643. This extremely talented guy doesn't need any introduction. While working, he came up with the three basic ideas that are applied to the physics of most motion, excluding modern physics. The ideas have been verified and tested so many times over the last years that people now call them Newton's Laws of Motion. Let's learn about Newton's first law of motion. This is also called the Law of Inertia. Newton's first law of motion, or law of inertia. This states that there is a natural tendency of all objects to keep on doing whatever they are doing. All the objects resist changes in their state of motion. In the non-existence of an unbalanced force, an object in motion will continue this state of motion. See this ball sitting in your table? It is not moving meaning it's in the same position. When you push it with a finger, it starts rolling. Ah, see, it's not stopping. Oh, this book came in its way. It will stop now. This clearly means that moving objects do not change their route or direction unless a force causes them to move from their path. Let's take one more example. Imagine you're in space and you kicked a ball. It will keep moving forever and forever because there is no force or blockage to stop this. Ah, uh, come on now. Let's try to move this large couch. It's not moving. Is it stubborn? No because the force you applied is not enough to move this big couch. But you can move this chair easily because the effort you are putting is enough to move this. Newton's first laws state two things. A stationary object will move only if there is any unbalanced force acting on that. A moving object will change direction or speed only if there is any unbalanced force acting on that. Now, you understand Newton's first law, or law of inertia. Hope you like this video. Stay tuned for the next one.